Hello, this is Mike, NoStressMike.com. Now I want to talk a little bit about what I eat. and uh, But before I go into uh, what it is exactly that I eat, I thought I'd better uh, let you know why uh, I eat the way I do. Okay, now, um, the, the, I travel pretty much all the time. Uh, let's see, I've been... Um, when I was in Florida, I had um, uh, boiled peanuts. So, you know what I mean? So, uh, I try different stuff wherever it is that I go. I, I try stuff. Uh, if I can recognize what it is and uh, I see how it's prepared and stuff like that. Because food poisoning is one of the, the biggest things that, that concerns me. Uh, but, like I say, in that and the change of diet is really tough. But... Uh, I have to really watch what I eat, uh, not in the way of a diet, but because of uh, I am traveling outside my comfort zone, uh, it's necessary for me to um, uh, stay sharp and uh, uh, ready to do what I got to do to protect myself. Because, like I say, I find myself in, in weird places and with weird people so I, I have to pretty much keep myself you know physically ready to do what i got to do and uh in the mornings uh like i say i've made a, a video on the, the stretches and the, the tai chi that i do so uh you know i can pretty much tell every morning when i'm doing my um exercise i hate to call even call it exercise i hate exercising but um Whenever I do all this stuff, I can tell if I'm getting out of shape, if there's something wrong with me. It's tough. Uh, when, you, when you stretch, it's hard to stretch. And there's a reason for it. There's always a reason. You, you know, I should be in good shape. So when I'm not, I'm concerned what it is that I ate that did something to me. And uh, but, uh, So I, I try to uh, eat right uh, so then I can perform... Uh, as necessary, and uh, if if y'all have seen me do the Tai Chi, uh, I can do about um, well, yeah, I can do ten people a day if I'm doing full treatments. Uh, if I'm at expos and uh, that type of stuff, I, I'll do about thirty a day. And uh, when you see me work, you can see I, I I put out a lot of effort. A lot of effort so it's necessary that I stay physically ready to go and um, another thing I've noticed too uh, when I'm healthy it seems like um, I don't need to eat as much uh, when uh, let's see I've, I've been eating pretty healthy uh, for the last 10 years I'd say I'm 64 almost 65 so yeah I've been I've been eating uh, pretty healthy for about that long. I've been doing my Tai Chi, my body work, uh, I mean my Hoi Chi, um, about 12 years now. And like I say the people I work on, the the healthy ones, I ask what they've been eating, and the unhealthy ones, I ask what they've been eating. And uh, that's what gave me the idea of what I need to be eating. And uh, now, pretty much, I when I check the body, I can pretty much tell you what you've been eating because what your body is showing up. And that is a weakness if you're uh, eating the wrong kind of food. I've noticed also about uh, uh, only about 10% of the people are healthy. Uh, the other 90%, uh, they're under the impression they are healthy. They have the medical mindset is, if I'm not sick... I must be healthy. So that's that's how they get in that situation. Uh, they are sick. 90% of the people really are sick. 10% uh, 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 really are doing really well. So and uh, it's and it's noticeable. Uh, when I get you on the table, it is real noticeable, and I sh I prove it to people. So uh, I don't want people to think I'm just making this stuff up. I I can show them, I can explain how it's happening, and uh, the food and what they're drinking and all this kind of stuff. So all this stuff does apply to your health, and so like I say when you're healthy, you tend to, or at least me, I tend to eat less food, and now water, I definitely need my water, 
and I'll do at least two liter a day, uh, as maybe as much as a gallon a day. And uh, my personal preference is distilled water. And the reason I say that is distilled water is the same anywhere in the world I go. It's, it's distilled water is distilled water. But uh, water itself is, I don't care how clean it is, even if it's bottled water, it's going to be a little different wherever it is you go. So, um, so there's a reason why I uh, stay healthy. And because, like I say, it's a lot easier to stay healthy because once you get sick, it's tough uh, to get healthy again. So I eat to stay healthy, not only physically healthy, like my appearance and my body functioning, but it keeps me uh, with the abilities to defend myself uh, whenever I need to. And uh, but anyway, that's that's why I eat the way I do. OK, now, what is it? That I eat. Okay, now under uh, when I travel, this is this is this is bad. Uh, when I travel in the car and I'm able to carry my own stuff around, uh, I don't eat well. Okay, I eat uh, um, turkey jerky. Uh, that's the meat that I use, and then uh, potato chips. And uh, so I'm eating a lot of grease, and uh, but I, uh, I'm wanting the salt. I need the the minerals, salt, and uh, so any, really I like anything with the sea salt. And um, I have uh, almonds and um, uh, cashews in sea salt. And then um, uh, let me see. I have uh, oatmeal cookies. I gotta have my oatmeal, so I get oatmeal cookies. Um, I'll have in the way of fruit, um, I'll have, um, uh, bananas, uh, oranges and apples. Um, let's see when I'm driving, sometimes I'll get sleepy. So then I have shelled raw peanuts and then that'll keep my hands busy and keep me busy and I can just throw them out the window and, you know, it's no big deal. And, uh, that, that, that keeps me awake. And so that's why I use the, the peanuts for. Now, um, also I got, um, I, I've had to kind of twist the, the what is good to eat. And so I kind of twist it around a little bit. Uh, M&M's uh, dark uh, chocolate covered peanuts. Uh, I, I, I'll snack on that. Uh, that's when I'm driving. And uh, like I say, that's, uh, you know, dark chocolate, you know. Everybody knows dark chocolate's good for you, so, you know, that's bad. And then peanuts, hey, can't be all that bad, you know. So that that's how I'm able to twist that around and say that, that that'll work. Now, uh, even sometimes I'll even have, uh, like, these uh, cookies uh, with peanut butter, crackers with peanut butter on it. I'll even have that when I'm on the road sometime, too. And these are things I can carry in the car. Uh, the heat and uh, the cold doesn't affect it. And uh, that's that's why that's, that's why I eat like that when I travel. Okay, now when I have total control over my diet, and uh, like say when I'm in Guatemala, or Central America, uh, in Guatemala, uh, like I say this is my home, and um, uh, I've got access to a kitchen, and so I, at that particular time I have total. Uh, control over my diet. Uh, when I'm on the road, I'm eating with people and, you know, I'm seeing people and all kinds of stuff. So I don't have any control over my diet. But here I have total control over my diet. And when I do have total control over my diet, I start with breakfast and it's going to be uh, eggs. Uh, I have two, maybe three eggs, uh, uh, refried beans, and then uh, a fruit plate. It'll be a uh, fruit plate would be um, uh, cantaloupe, uh, papaya, uh, watermelon, uh, pineapple. And then uh, uh, that's what I have for breakfast. And then when I get done eating that, if I still feel a little hungry, I'll get some almonds and some cashews. Uh, and normally I have uh, maybe two bananas. They're kind of small bananas down here. So I'll, I'll take about two bananas on that. And then uh, I say I'm having um, um, water. Uh, I don't eat for four hours, at least four hours, and then uh, I'm drinking distilled water. Uh, if I 
if I have control, if I'm out running around, I just grab a bottle of water. It doesn't make any difference. But uh, so uh, that's what I'll have for breakfast, and that's that's all I want. All the fruit I want on that, you know. So it, you you can pretty much, you know, it's not like I starve to death, uh, you know. So uh, that's what I have for uh, breakfast. Okay, now for lunch, uh, I have uh, oatmeal, and uh, I get. Um, just uh, when when I have control, I'm able to bring little packets of the instant oatmeal back from the states, and uh, uh, I'll put um, two um, um, uh, prunes. I'll put I'll put the prunes in first and cut them up in little pieces. I don't like prunes, but I cut them up in little pieces. And then I put some raisins in there, so so the prunes kind of look like raisins, so it fools me. And then I'll put a package of the instant oatmeal in there, and then I stick it in the microwave, and then um, you know get it gone. I'll make it uh, a little watery, and then uh, I may uh, put a piece of toast and put it inside there to kind of soak up the water. And then um, uh, I have that, and then um, uh, two bananas, and then, um, um, let's see, uh, almonds and cashews uh, if I'm still hungry. Uh, and I say if I, if I need more, well, then I can get two bowls of uh, oatmeal. You can have all the oatmeal you want, no big deal. Now, um, now for supper. Now, uh, supper is... Um, uh, soup. I have soup, and when I get, I get a big bowl, and I always have a stock pot going. So I get a big bowl, and I'll put if they got some mashed potatoes, I'll put a dip of mashed potatoes in this big old bowl. Uh, I'll get some uh, broccoli, carrots, uh, beans, uh, just any kind of vegetables. I just throw all those all in there too, and um, uh, I say uh, normally I don't put any meat in it. Uh, you can, you, know, you can put the meat in it, but normally I don't, I'm too lazy to, to go get it. So I just throw, the, throw all that into the bowl and then um, put the broth uh, on it. Onions, oh yeah, I think I told you onions. And then put the broth on there. I'll use some um, uh, cayenne pepper, I'll put that on there. Oh, and I'll put that on my breakfast, my eggs and beans, I'll put that on, on there too. Cayenne pepper on my, in my soup and then uh, some soy sauce. And then um, if I if I get really lazy and all that, well then I just throw some noodles, uh, put some noodles in there, and then uh, uh, chop up a little bit of chicken and throw that up inside it. Have me some chicken noodle soup, you know. So, but it's any kind of broth type soup. Okay, now um, uh, some of the things that I completely stay away from is dairy. I have no dairy. Uh, very seldom though I have dairy. I, I might have. Uh, uh, an ice cream every month or two. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, I might. Yeah, I was going. No, no, I don't. That's bad. I, I really don't do much much dairy at all. Uh, pop. Uh, the only time I have pop is uh, if I go to the movie, and uh, I love movies. And I'll go to the movie. And I'll get me a big old buttered popcorn, all that greasy, nasty popcorn, and a big Coca-Cola, and uh, I'll have that. And uh, but normally I don't get a go too often. And uh, now there for a while I was going like more than once a month. Now then I wouldn't have my my popcorn pop. That's that's too much. So I'm, I'm pushing it to have it once a month. And so, but anyway, so that that's on pop that'll be what it is um let's see um uh i say dairy no dairy uh, let me see uh, oh snacks don't do no snacking um uh, i say when you're waiting for four hours between meals no snacking at all uh, i say just pure water not even fruit i don't have nothing just just water only and then uh, i'll explain that in one of my other videos why all that is uh soy uh, no soy at all um, through the years uh soy has been uh, uh chemically enhanced it is uh, I, I think just about all the soy is, is bad. Uh, so I, I know a lot of people think, hey, I'll use soy milk instead of dairy milk. Well, soy milk, I don't think is any good. But, you know, I, I have no need for it in, in my stuff. Now, I'll tell you, 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 it's taken me years, I say 10 years, to develop a good eating habit. I mean, I just didn't do it overnight. It's just a little bit at a time. And uh, I used to be a steak and potato guy. 
I love steak. I never got, don't forget, I owned a steakhouse, so I, I liked steak and potatoes and, until the gout got me. And then when the gout got me, well then, and then they say you don't cure for it. Well, uh, now I'm not completely gone, but I'll tell you, it doesn't hurt. I mean, I can function now. Uh, before, when I was eating beef, uh, it, it couldn't, I couldn't hardly really function. So uh, I did cut back a lot on meat. Uh, I don't even, and chicken, I don't really don't even like chicken either. Um, uh, I say, I just, I just try to stay away from all that, that type of stuff. Now, if you notice, everything that I mentioned digests fairly easy. And uh, that is why I eat it. My poop comes out really good. It comes out like toothpaste each day, all the time. And I'm not talking about on the good days. A lot of people think, well, yeah, my, I, like, I like it when I'm working on people, you know, and I check their colon. I say, hey, colon bad. And then they say, oh, no, it's not. And I'll, I'll push it, and it'll hurt. And I'll say, yeah, your poop's probably hard. And then they'll say, oh, no, it's normal. Okay, well, what is? what do you call normal? You know, uh, normal, 90% of the people eat bad. So 90% of their poop is normally, like, bad. So don't call it normal. It's not right. And I say it needs to have the texture like uh, peanut butter or toothpaste. Now, uh, now I've noticed now since I've been back and I've been uh, got control of my own diet, I've noticed now different colors in my poop now. And that's what it is. It's, it's toxins and stuff like that. That's uh, the food that hasn't digested properly has been stuck inside me. Now it's starting to come out because the food I'm eating digests so easily, it just starts moving things out really good. And there for a while, I was the same way, like normal. And that is uh, my poop was sometimes a little hard. So, but now no more. Now I'm back to everything's going good. That's a big thing for staying healthy. So, uh, and uh, like I say, but that's what I eat. Uh, I use, normally I use Saturday. I might use Sunday for a day that I can do anything I want to do. It doesn't make any difference. If I've got something special occasion going on or something, uh, you know, that's what I'll, I'll, I'll do. I, I mean, I, that's when I have my pizza and uh, I say, uh, hot dogs and, and stuff like that. I, I, I try to stay away from anything with chemicals, anything with any kind of chemicals in it at all. But anyway, uh, and, and like I say, my exercise I've been doing for well over 20 years, and then my eating habits has, has taken me 10 years to develop it the way it is now. And um, uh, I've noticed, I say, even down here, uh, like I say, at my age, I'm a whole lot healthier than many people half my age. And uh, it's, it's, it's sad. It is sad. And uh, it, it's getting like that in the United States. I mean, there's a lot of people that are not healthy at all. And they wait until they get sick. Uh, they lose a gallbladder or, um, you know, if, no telling what you know they're going to have before they finally uh, and they get medical attention and the next thing you know they're messed up for the rest of their lives. They're diabetic, uh, heart. Heart's a good example. You know, uh, diet. Well, well, diet and doing something will help a lot of that stuff. You don't need the medicine. You don't need none of that stuff. You just take responsibility for your own diet and your own body. Okay, this is Mike. NoStressMike.com